loves, thank you for tuning in to my channel. If you are new, welcome to my channel and you are watching Told by Jade. I am Jade and in today's video I am going to be doing something a little different. So really it's just going to be like chit chat and as I do my uh, deep conditioning. So I think I want to call this series kinks and chill if you guys have a name that i should name it just leave it down in the comment below so kind of i just want to do stuff with my natural hair but also talk to you guys about everyday life things sometimes it can be like about different things with that's going on with my natural hair or just everyday life things that i don't know you talk about with people so i already have two videos that's similar to this um i will have them linked above either here or here and i'll also have them in the description box below so one of them is just me talking about um like vibes and energy that's one where i'll put my hair up in the top knot bun and then i have another one that talks about um the color of my hair which is blue and yeah, so I will have those linked down below. So yeah, so this is a series that just allows me to better connect with my audience on like a friend, sister type level versus just being somebody that educates you about hair. So I feel like my hair, my channel is primarily like natural hair focused, but I also want to include some lifestyle. So that is what we're doing today. So I just washed my hair. I mean, I didn't wash my hair. I'm lying. I just wet my hair. I'm doing my deep condition before I um uh, before I wash my hair because this just allows me to get in the shower, wash my hair, and put some conditioner on it, rinse it out, and get out. So I don't have to like deep condition, get out of the shower, and then wait 30 minutes and rinse it out. So I was just thinking. I would just sit down and talk to you guys while I do it. And I'm also trying a new product today. Alright you guys, so I just have my hair clipped away in four sections. And I just can't believe that like it's the last month in the new in this year. Like oh my gosh, it's literally about to be 2018 next month. That's so weird. But I'm just going to use the Maui Moisture um, line. And this one is to thicken and restore plus bamboo fibers. Fortifying mask for weak, brittle hair. And it says it densifies, revive, and strength. So my hair isn't like weak or brittle. Um, but it's kind of like strengthening while moisturizing. So I do look for that in deep condition. So that's one reason why I picked this up. Just to make my hair stronger even though it's not, you know, like brittle. But just having colored hair. I just like to take precaution. And they have a lot of different ones. They have one for thick and curly. Um... This one is thickening and restore. I think they have one that's for, I want to say color treated, but I'm not sure. But they, they have like a few different ones, but they all smell really good. And this one, I picked it up for $4.49 at Walgreens. So Walgreens is having like last chance sales where they're selling like good stuff for like $4.49. So this is just what it looks like in my hand. It's really thick. But then it's like lotion. It's not like, it smells so good. Like it has a scent, but it's not like overpowering or stink. It actually smells good. So I'm just going to apply it to this section. Oh my God, y'all, this feels really good. Like my curls are just like melting. Oh my God, like look at this slip like sis so i'm just gonna apply some more i'm really heavy handed with deep conditioners and masks oh my god like i can just like detangle instantly it's just so crazy it feels so good wow like i didn't even have to like really go in debt and finger detangle like everything just melts and I do have a video that shows how I detangle my natural hair um so I will leave that up too so one thing that I just want to talk about being that the new year is coming up is just like building for the future I feel like a lot of people try to down talk people that you know say you know new year new me or they want to start fresh for the new year but i feel like 
it's just this feeling like when when new year's come and it's like you counting down to the next day or however you're bringing the new year's in like when it's finally that next day and it's the first day of the year that feels good you know it feels good inside to know that hey i made it another year like I may have had all these trials and tribulations and I may have struggled and I may have felt like I wanted to give up, but I didn't and I'm still here. And you know, like God allowed me to see another day and to bring the new year in. You should be grateful every day. But I'm saying like, when you realize that, wow, out of everything that happened to me this year, I'm still here. I feel like that is just, like that sense, that feeling, like nothing feels like that. Nothing feels like bringing a new year in, you know, because not everybody have the best year. And I feel like if people want to say that or if people want to make goals start in the new year, then I feel like that's just up to them because... You know, that they have that option. They have that right. They made it to a new year. If they want to say on January 1st, I'm going to stop doing this or I'm going to stop doing that or I'm going to become better at this I'm going to become better at that, then, hey, that's them. I feel like I'm rambling. But for other people, like, I'm not changing. I'm going to, you know, I'm not changing. So what? It's a new year. But I feel like you should want to change. It's always room to grow. As long as we're on this earth, it's always room to grow. You're never perfect you're never to your highest peak like it's always room to grow and i feel like people that say that they don't want to grow or they're not changing are like ignorant to a certain extent because like why would you not want to grow why would you not want to become a better person why would you want to be stuck in your same old ways and people like that i cannot i i cannot like i just can't be around them you know and I'm not saying everybody has to, like, put their goals out there or make it known that they're, you know, changing or trying to improve in an area. I mean, you could say it to yourself, but I don't feel like you should talk down on people that are publicly announcing it. And that may be their way of writing it down. Like, oh, I put it, you know, on my Twitter or I put it on my Facebook. And a year from now, I can go back and look and, you know, see that I said I was going to make those changes. And I did. Wow. Like. You know, so that can be their way or their motivation to change. So, I personally just think New Year's resolutions are pretty awesome. <laughs> it gives those people that feel like they, they messed up but they want to do better. It gives them, like, the sense of a new start. So, I am excited about the new year. Um, and then, I don't, like, my goals for 2018 is to just not figure it figure it all out but to get a sense of what's going on <laughs> like so next year 2018 i will still be a junior in college like i'm currently a junior so i will still be a junior in 2018 but my expected graduation date is 2019 so it's like wow so 2018 is my year to figure it out to figure out am i going to use this degree am i not where do i want to live do i want to live in the city do i want to live in a rural place do i want to live in my hometown which i don't want to live in my hometown like i know that you know i want to live somewhere new i definitely I want to live in the city and I feel like even though I come from the country I feel like I'm a city girl at heart like I like to have access to a lot of things I like to have you know like a pretty downtown I like to have access to a lot of stores and you know like big malls and stuff like that so like when I actually guys so this video was getting pretty long my memory card ran out of storage so I'm back and I was just talking about moving to um, the city once I graduate and just how like, you know, having change is good. So I definitely want to move to the city, but for 2018, I know that one of my New Year's resolutions is to like have a sense of where I'm going to, a sense of what I'm going to be doing and where I'm going to go once I graduate 
which is not until 2019 but I still kind of want to you know like have a plan and I mean usually like when you plan stuff God has another plan for you so it's like it really ain't a plan it's a rough draft <laughs> but you know God writes the final paper so you know how you have a rough draft and you do it and you think it's all good and then somebody revises it and then you look at it and you just like I don't even want to really write on that subject no more like I need to change my whole paper I'm really bad at that like I'll do a rough draft for like my assignments and then by the time I write the final paper it has nothing to do with the rough draft so that's kind of you know what God does in our life like we write the rough draft but he revives it and he writes the final paper so um i know that i can't like make a plan but i can definitely have some goals and hope to achieve them another thing that i want to do more is just um i guess not let fear get in the way of things that i want and i feel like a lot of people allow fear to like um like take over their lives and i watched a podcast by brie hall which is a youtuber on here but she also does podcasts and she has some really good podcasts and she just talked about fear of one of them i've actually listened to all her podcasts but she talks about fear in one of them and just saying how like you know fear sometimes just controls everything around you and i do agree with that and I feel like I have gotten like out of my shell and stuff with fear and just stepping out because like before I never would have thought that I would be like talking to a camera as my hobby you know like like it's always something I wanted to do because I watch YouTube all the time since like probably like eighth grade since I was like in eighth grade all the way to now so i've always watched youtube and then just my first college was like horrible so i didn't really have anything to do there and that's like when i just really wanted to like start a youtube channel and i did it and and then i stopped doing it because i wasn't consistent and i just didn't know like <laughs> if people was gonna like it and stuff but now i try to film like two to three times out of the week and like i really feel like my goal is to like help people so i feel like me getting out of my shell and just <laughs> living fearlessly then you know that can help somebody else if i can relate to somebody like it's it's an instant click so you know it may be people that I like me that I like super not shy not anti-social just a um introvert <laughs> but still want to be able to get out there so that's just my goal to help people and to inspire other people that's that's what I want to do in life regardless of how I'm doing it and I mean I feel like I learned that like this year even if something don't work out it's okay really i feel like i learned that last year that even if something don't work out and it like failed or it didn't go as planned that doesn't mean that you shouldn't like try again if that was the case we will all be crawling on the ground nobody will be walking because like babies they walk and they fall but they always like get up and try again so i feel like if you have fallen down or something or you feel like you just on the floor and can't get up <laughs> just know that you can and if you do get up you will succeed again and what else would be one of my goals oh y'all i need to get more organized like i am organized but i feel like i want to have like a planner <laughs> and like i don't know become super organized that's another one of my goals for 2018 and i just want to make it through my junior year still here still surviving and i'm trying to think of my youtube goals like what i want for youtube this year i mean next year i want to become 
like consistent which I am consistent I've been consistent for like four months now of just like posting you know like every week like for the past week I did an experiment to post every day for like five days and to see the outcome and see you know if it helped if it didn't help if it didn't make a difference so that was really tiring but I got the videos out every day so I am proud of me for that <laughs> so that is something that I want to do um so to be more consistent which I am consistent but just to improve to improve in my editing to improve in the quality of my videos like I have a good camera but I really don't know how to work it so I guess get better at my camera improve my lighting just build on top of it <laughs> I guess and for subscriber wise I think right now I'm at 536 so for the year of 2018 let's go for a thousand a thousand or let's go okay a thousand or 1500 like is that too short of a goal okay 2000 let's push for 2000 here i have to get 1500 subscribers and that will put me at 2000 <laughs> so that's like see that's the thing like just stepping out stepping out even if even if i'm scared like i don't know if i can get 1500 subscribers i mean like you know i don't i don't know but i know that it's a goal now so it's something that i want to do i want to make it you know i want to make it happen so whatever it is that you want to do whatever it is that you know you're passionate about but you feel like it won't work or you don't know if it will work i say do it make it your goal for 2018 even if it's baby steps even if it's small goals working to a big goal so you know you have this business in mind that you want to do but you don't know where to start so for 2018 you just want to have have a set business plan right you just want to have a set business plan like it don't have to be start the business next year and make it run <laughs> it could be small stuff like make a business plan get a business license you know make us make an instagram for it you know so it could be small stuff so i don't want you to think it has to be like big things because it doesn't and you know whatever whatever your goal is if it's to build your relationship with the people around you or someone that you feel like you need to make amends with reach out to that person make that your goal <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, that's another thing with like just talking about being fear less in 2018. I feel like some stuff like I feel like I should say but I don't say because like I I don't know, you know, how it's gonna affect other people. So I wanted to just come more can be more content with just saying not how I feel because I, I feel like I always say how I feel, but just being comfortable with my decisions and just knowing that it's the best decision for me. So I guess not really like second guessing myself more than I should, but yeah. So you guys, I'm done deep conditioning. I'm done rambling. I'm just going to put a plastic cap on my head and I'm going to let this sit for probably 30, 45 minutes. I know I'm hungry, so I'm about to go eat. <laughs> And then, yeah, I will rinse it out. I don't know. Should I come back and tell you guys if I liked it or not? It, it's soft. I think I'm going to like it. I think it works good. It has a lot of slip. My hair is really moisturized. Like, it feels really good. But I'll come over here and tell you guys the end result. Even though this video is so freaking long. Why do we always get to these long videos, man? But, yeah. If I don't come back, be sure to click that subscribe button below. <laughs> And thumbs up this video if you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.